for classic matches just like the World Cup videos, why not go to patreon.com forward slash drunk redhead. It's the season finale of my FIFA 17 career mode. No, 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 no. We did training, but who cares? We're champions already. So this will probably be the last training session we do. And as soon as we were done with that, it was time for a press conference. You know, because we're doing well, so they want press conferences. I said that I was upbeat about my previous draw with Lugano, so hopefully we'll get a win. Especially as we're currently enjoying quite the winning streak, and the press had noticed. Although I can't remember what the last one was against, but it must have been pretty good because we had a few players in the best 11 of the week, which ain't too shabby. I got a message from Tuba Akpom asking if I was actually thinking of playing Felfel on the team. I was, because I wanted to rest him, but Tuba said no. So I put Tuba in the team. Here's the team. Uh, it looks pretty decent, I'd say. Let's get on with it, shall we? Lugano. It's match time. Martin Tyler here and Alan Smith with you, as always, to describe it. And we're looking forward to something special today. Here's a challenge. It's a good one. He's got his shot off now. Oh, off the crossbar and behind for a goal kick. He's coming forward with some danger. Saw the goal and went for it. The big hitters have hit again. They go in front and with their attacking prowess. No one's surprised here. It's just a matter of who's going to score the goals. You know they are going to score. And they've got so many different ways of breaking down the opposition. Forward play from them. The break is definitely on. He's got his shot off now. Great stop. Well, he scored. And it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. they played well to this point, but sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. And a good goal, along with plenty of chances. Goals from Sunil Chetri and Marco Mathis ensured we won 2-0 against Lugano with one game left to play in the league. Here are the other results from the day in the league. Obviously a full day of matches. We don't get that very often according to previous days anyway. Tuba sent me a message saying it was a massive victory and you know doing the whole told you so thing. Also got a message from Philip Muntweiler saying he wanted more playing time. You can fuck off mate. Next up, there was a message from the physiotherapist and the team saying that Alden Turks was ready to come back from injury. Didn't matter too much, probably not going to play him. And then, yes, there was another press conference because we have the last match of the season coming up against Grasshoppers. I said that they have perfect balance, which obviously is the generic stock answer, but I, you know, there's a lot of press conferences now. I can't be able to think of all of them. Is Wundmeiler part of FC Vaduz's future? No, I'll just say it now. We had a few players in the star performers for the week. Again, not bad. There was then a message from the assistant manager telling me that the following people had their contracts about to run out. Martin Weiler, Cecchini, Hasler and Chetri. Chetri is the only one I actually care about. And he's starting in the final game of the season as are my entire normal first team. This is a game from the Raiffeisen Super League. I'm Martin Tyler and Alan Smith sitting next to me. Can't wait for this. Here's the chance. Oh, a good goal. And now they're a goal to the good. He's coming forward with some danger. Opportunity here. It's in. Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal, and he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. On to the attack now. It's a neat pass. Shots on here. Splendid goal here. Patrick, goal number three here, and it's a perfect day for the player. What a day he's having. Three goals now. He's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match. And he's... He's got his 
he's shot off now. Never panicked. Placed it past the goalkeeper. the final whistle and that confirms what we've been knowing for some time that they are the champions Alan yeah absolute joy amongst those players they've worked long and hard haven't they over the course of the last nine months or so and boy, they... part of a very special day this isn't it to go and share the moment with the supporters yeah and they know the family up in the stands too one of those days you do not forget in a hurry. Brilliant scenes here. It was a glorious final day of the league season, beating Grasshoppers 4 0 thanks to four goals from Sunil Chetri, who got man of the match in a 10.0 rating. Elsewhere in the league on this final day of the season, it was another full roundup of games, and the player of the competition was announced, and it was Schnulli of Luzern. Are you joking? I had better players than that, and the team of the competition was announced, and we only had three players in there, Strohmeyer, Ajay, and Kukurazovic. What about Chetri? Chetri did pick up the golden boot after all, after half a season. I'm not bitter, of course. The goalkeeper of the tournament was also announced, Thomas Vaklik of Baal, or Basel, let's, let's not get into that now. Our goalkeeper changed halfway through the season, so we probably didn't have a chance in that one. And player of the month was announced for May, it was Kukurazovic of Vaduz. Yay, our captain! We also won a shed load of money, or a few million at least, uh, for winning the league, which is always nice. There was a message from the board, apparently Nicholas Hassler's agent had got in contact saying that the discussions about his wages weren't making any progress, and he came to me too. Well basically, you can all fuck off. Only people who deserve a wage rise really get a wage rise, such as Benjamin Zekriest, our goalkeeper, who asked for one too. I'll think about it with him, because he actually deserves one. There was another press conference because there was one more game left. The Swiss Cup final. The Schweizer Pokal final. Call it what you will. I praised Basel's goalkeeper Vaklik, mainly because he won goalkeeper of the year. And, you know, he kind of deserves that. And the press got hold of the Hasler story. Hasler shown door by FC Vaders. Good, he can fuck off. Just to annoy Hasler, I offered Benjamin Zekris more money than he actually asked for. Ha, take that, you cunt. The rest of the world now. Arsenal won the Premier League with 87 points on goal difference. With real-life champions Chelsea coming fourth. Another real-life champion coming fourth was Monaco, who finished fourth in the French League in this game. PSG clear champions with 92 points. Bayern Munich, shocker, won the German League with 78 points while in Italy, another shocker, Juventus won the league with 81 points. Another surprising finish came in Spain where real-life champions Real Madrid finished fourth behind Barcelona who won the league on 93 points, Sevilla and Atletico Madrid. But a more important table is the Swiss Super League, the Raffaison Super League, where I won by 13 points in the end. Not bad. As stated earlier, Chetri took the golden boot thanks to four goals on the final game, which definitely settled it. Most assists in the league went to Tuba Akpom with 12, which is fantastic. Although with clean sheets, we didn't get that award because I changed goalkeeper halfway through, despite Gela only being one behind after I changed from him halfway through the season. Gela's replacement, Benjamin Zekriest, obviously signed that big juicy contract that was offering him more money than he actually wanted and I got a message before the cup final from Mario Bula claiming he'd been in really good form lately and he didn't want to get benched well tough he's going to get benched because I wanted my general first team for the cup final it's all been leading to this well this is what the build-up is all about the cup final itself so much anticipation so much for the supporters to enjoy for their day out, but the players will only remember it if they win. That's true. It's been a fascinating tournament, a lot of good play, and I just hope this final lives up to that track record. The game today, Basel against Vaduz. What a huge moment that might be. Fans going absolutely wild. A goal from Dumbia. Maybe he won't score many better goals than that in terms of his composure. First time, top right. Brilliant. And a try one now. It's level now. 
again. Wow, game on. Here we go. Can't wait now for the remainder of this match. He's going to try it. Terrific stop. He's right in. It's a goal, and they're in front with that goal. And a special goal. Well, that's all about anticipation and just snapping up the rebound. Shot off. Here's a chance, goalkeeper exposed. Gone for the through pass. Here. It could lead to an equalising goal here. Great chance. I know what will happen. Well, there is the final whistle, and that confirms what we've been knowing for some time, that they are the champions. Alan. Yeah, absolute joy amongst those players. They've worked long and hard, haven't they, over the course of the last nine months or so, and boy, they deserve it. These are special moments for a very successful team. Congratulations to them. No wonder they're milking the moment. I want to make absolutely the most of this. Well, they're a proper team, aren't they? They've stuck together, defended really well in this competition and snatched the goals at the uh, vital time. So, fully deserved winners. There they go. They are the champions. team photo and they're getting ready for it now yeah one of those lovely scenes that you'll hang on the wall back at home despite falling behind early on Chetri and Akpom did their thing as the two main strikers to give us something that Vedders will never do in the history win the Swiss double because they can't actually play in the Swiss Cup in real life and being Swiss Cup winners means we get even more money although it's only 80,000 not quite the two million I got for the league but it'll do Mario Bula sent me a message saying he desperately wanted to play Fuck off, Bula. And that's it. As Siawa did. 98% manager popularity rating. Well above target. Nice. Also, my profit in the end was 4.66 million. Half of that probably from winning the league. But yes. Nice. And the player shirt sales was still Pulisic, Akpom and Clement. Chetri couldn't break into the top three there. So yes, that's it. Vaduz win the Schweizer Pokal. That's confirmation. Despite the fact we only needed to make the semis to hit our goal. And we got player of the competition. Schurpf. And he didn't even play in the final. Oh well. Here is my final card for the season. And that's it. I'm not going to be staying at Vaduz because in real life they got relegated. And they're not going to be on the next game. So who will I be next year? Let's find out. Like and subscribe.